Welcome back friends. Welcome back to our Latvian homestead. Sveitsins Donaugi, dead air. Now in today's video, I want to talk about some Latvian foods and drinks. I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time and it's been really difficult to try and get the title of the video right because um, whatever I came up with, there was always going to be something that wasn't quite right. So it was like the 10 greatest Latvian foods or um, my 10 greatest Latvian food discoveries or 10 unique foods to uh, Latvia. Um, in every case, something wasn't quite right. So I've, I think I've called it uh, 10 foods you must try when you come to Latvia. Um, now, I should point out a few disclaimers at the start of the video. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I bought all these products myself um, and uh, they're my own choice. Um, now, I couldn't possibly cover everything in this video. I know for those of you who are watching, you're going to shout at the screen and say, well, he's missed this or he's missed that or he should have talked about this or should have talked about that. Um, yeah, there's lots of things I could have included. I probably need to do a separate video about Latvian dairy products. I probably need to do a separate video about um, Latvian um, beer. I probably need to do a separate video about Latvian snacks. I probably need to do a separate video about Latvian uh, bakeries and, and baked products and things like that. And definitely need to do a separate video on Latvian meats and smoked, smoked meats, charcuterie and things like that. In fact, I definitely need to do a video about all those subjects to be able to cover the things in greater depth. So this is just kind of an overview. It's 10 products I picked that I think um, you really must try if you come to Latvia. So let's clear the deck and then I'll look at each product on its own in greater detail. Okay, our first product are these little bundles of joy. Um, they are piragi or pirazini, not quite sure the difference. Um, traditionally made at Christmas, in fact, if we've made them at Christmas, if you want to see us making them, I'll put a link up here in our Christmas traditions video. Um, one day I will do a recipe video for them as well, but they are um, a leavened product, uh, you know, with yeast. So, um, and then in the center, they put different fillings. These have got uh, bacon and onion, but often you can have bacon, onion and dill. You can have bacon, onion and pickled gherkin, it's quite popular. Obviously you get different um, toppings as well. So there's seeds and um, cheese and things like that. Lots of different varieties. You can buy, they're available in, in all supermarkets. They're often um, available from the fresh bakery counter and most bakeries make them as well. Uh, and they're absolutely lovely when they're warm straight out of the oven. And um, a very popular snack at um, for a day and you'll, if you go to a party here or you know a, a gathering of some sort there will always be piragi um, to eat. Really nice obviously homemade. So that's my first item. Let's look at the next one. Okay second item. This is cannabis. This is hemp. Hemp is a really popular product in Latvia and there are several um, companies around the country which manufacture and make hemp based products both for consumption and um, also for use in building products and some do everything. Hemp is a really versatile um, crop and can be used for many different things. Now um, this is not drugs, this is not weed, this is not cannabis and everything like that. It's a plant which is very closely related to that um, but they are different in um, the way that they come out. So I just wanted to make that clear because it's been pointed out to me before, are you growing drugs, etc., etc. No, we're not. Um, this, uh, the business that makes this um, cannabis butter, and this is um, cannabis just seeds ground up, is about 25 kilometers, 20 kilometers from us over the way. They're in the same um, district as us. And one day I hope to get over there and make a separate video about that. Um, this is really popular here in Latvia. Um, I, I, I like it, I'm not mad about it, but it's really interesting. I'm growing to like it more and more. It's got quite a nutty taste. And uh, often, you know, with the, the cannabis butter, hemp butter, you just take some off and you know, spread it on bread like this and uh, eat it. Very popular breakfast. My father loves it. He always makes a joke, you know, what do you want for breakfast? Cannabis or narcotics. Can I have narcotics for breakfast? He jokes, la la la. Um, but yeah, really interesting flavor. Must try it if you come to Latvia. Right, next we have charcuterie, smoked meats, cured meats, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, Latvia makes some amazing charcuterie. We often think of France and Germany for charcuterie, but Latvia has some absolutely amazing charcuterie. Lots of different brands. It was difficult to what to choose. I only scratched the surface by picking up these three. So we've got kind of a softer smoked cured sausage, more like a salami sausage. And here we've got things called cigars, um, all really tasty. And um, you know, Latvia has got a really rich heritage in preserving food for the for the winter months. You've seen our some of our other videos where we preserve food, so you'll know that. Um, I would love to do a separate video to explore the meats further, or a series of videos, to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, and you can get these sliced, they've got ready sliced in packets, but often people just buy them like this, and um, you can buy big chunks of smoked meat. And once we get our smoker going, then I'll do some videos on smoked meat as well. You often um, go to the market and there will be um, stall holders selling lots of different meats, um, smoked and unsmoked and cured. And yeah, very, very popular here as well, and fish as well. So um, that's smoked meats. You must try them if you come to Latvia. Let's look at the next thing. Okay, next thing is quass. Quass is a, uh, what we sometimes call Latvian Coke. Um, it's predominantly a non-alcoholic drink, although um, it, some have kind of 0.5% uh, because it is a fermented drink, depending on the processes involved. I got one which um, is 0.5% and one that's um, a soft drink. Slightly different types, there's many different brands. I could have chosen, you know, 10, 15 different bottles and different, slightly different flavors. This is um, a nay filters, but it means it's not been filtered, be more of a sort of cloudy drink. Um, this is a, a porter quass. So, and um, this one is probably a bit more traditional in that it's, it's made with the um, fermented juices from the black bread, the Latvian black bread that is produced here. Um, and, and this one is with uh, rye, um, malted rye, and uh, the malted rye syrup, you know, that's what you make it from. Um, obviously, black bread is made from rye, so they are quite, you know, very close, and they will be, give slightly different flavours. Let's um, open one of these, just see what it looks like. It is carbonated. <coughs> Obviously very similar colour to um, Coke, so you can see why it gets that nickname Latvian Coke. It's, um, it's a re really uh, unique flavour, um, which you just have to try because I can't really describe it for you. If you, go, if you come to Latvia and go to Riga, the central market, there's often a big um, concession there where uh, you know, it's kind of half a lorry with a massive barrel in the back and they just uh, pour it out of the barrel and you, you buy half a litre or a litre and you just drink it. Um, and um, that's absolutely wonderful. So um, that's Quass. Um, let's move on to the next product. Okay, um, our next product is Pelmeny. Uh, now, Pelmeny is, strictly speaking, um, doesn't originate from Latvia, it comes from Russia, but like I've said in a previous video, um, most countries have their own kind of dumpling products. Um, this is what I would say is the the sort of staple fast food freezer product in Latvia. Um, there are lots of different types of pelmeni, lots of different um, firms make them. And uh, you'll find this in the, obviously in the freezer product in supermarkets and you can make it yourself as well. If you want to know how to make it yourself, here's a link to a video uh, where myself and my daughter made pelmeni ourselves. Um, these, uh, you just boil some water and you put these in, boil them for, you know, two or three minutes and then serve them in a, a bowl uh, with sour cream or, or ketchup or some other sauces, um, whatever you like. And, then, you know, very quick snack to prepare and uh, thoroughly enjoy. So the little dumplings, they've got meat inside, if I didn't say that, and you get different flavours. And obviously everyone has their favourite, but this is one. And there's always a bag in the freezer for when we need a quick meal. So that is Pelmeni, and let's look at the next one. Next we have pepper cookers or pepper cookies. 
Um, these were a really um, pleasant discovery when I first came to Latvia some 15, 16 years ago. Um, lots of different brands of pepper cookies, or pepper cookers. Um, now, this, um, it's interesting on the packaging here, um, it says gingerbread. Um, they are not gingerbread, it's not the same thing. Very similar, got those kind of, the, the bun spices, uh, all spice. There's probably, there is some ginger in it, but um, you know, um, nutmeg and, and those kind of sweet spices are all in there with, with brown sugar, etc, etc. And these have black crushed black pepper in there to give it a nice little bite. And they come um, in, you can see here, um, there's a packet of square ones, but many people buy these round discs ones. In fact, let's open this pack. Oops. Take a few out. Um, and they're kind of very eat, crunch, swallow. You know, you, oh yeah, I'll have another one of those, I'll have another one of those, I'll have another one of those, and before you know it, half the bag is gone. Um, they're very di lovely aroma when you um, open the bag. Very traditional at Christmas. Again, if you look at our um, traditions video, which I linked above and, and below in the description, you'll see us making them. Households across the country will make pepper cookies at Christmas time. So yeah, that's pepper cookies or pepper cookers um, or whatever they're called. Um, they're very, actually, they're not totally unique to Latvia, but it's good to try Latvia's own. Um, across the sort of re Baltic and Nordic region, you'll see um, people making them in their own countries. So um, let's look at the next thing. Okay, next we have black balsams. If anyone asks what's the national drink of Latvia, then this is it, um, black balsams. Um, it's been around for donkey's years. They started off with their original blend of balsams. Um, it's a dark um, drink. Goes really well with things like coffee and Coke and kwass. As a nice little extra tipple. Um, I haven't got a bottle of the original stuff here, um, but I've got some of the blended. Um, this is with cherry. This is with chocolate and mint, uh, which is interesting um, to say the least probably really nice over ice cream something like that um, i really like the cherry one um, i do like it with a coffee occasionally um, but yeah um, this is the sort of thing that you all take back and uh, give to friends as a gift and um, again i guess it's a kind of desired taste you leave a bit of a marmite one you'll either love it or hate it i do like it and um, it's definitely something you need to check out if you come to latvia so that's black balsams. Right, next we have um, wafer cake. Waffle torte, as it's called in Latvian. Again, lots of different brands, lots of different flavors. This one is um, mocha, so um, coffee and chocolate. And this one is cherry and chocolate. And basically, um, it's a wafer cake. It's kind of a, a ginormous Kit Kat. Um, very dusty, sort of on the top, crumbly. Often, you know, so you, you'll get this, you've got this square of uh, wafer cake here, and then it'll be chopped up into squares like it has on the front of the box here, and served with a hot drink, or, you know, coffee or tea. Um, you can even buy the wafer layers and make your own as well um, from the supermarkets. I'm not sure I've seen this homemade in markets at all. I've only ever seen them in the, in the boxes in the shops, but again, the sort of thing, um, great to grab and take back um, for friends if you're visiting Latvia, but something um, you really must try if you come here. So uh, that is a wafer cake. Okay, our ninth item, crisps. Well, yeah, okay, crisps you can get in any country, but you can't get dill crisps. Dill is, in everything here. If it hasn't got dill on it, it's not Latvian. Um, well, some will argue that, but um, that's kind of the running joke, I suppose. So, of course, you have to make dill crisps. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like them, actually. They're kind of a similar flavor to spring onion crisps, um, but very nice. Um, I don't know what more you can say, really. Um, if you come to Latvia, you will eat something with dill. It's unavoidable, um, so why not try Dill crisps, um, that's what I say anyway. So yeah, dill crisps, number nine. 
number 10, um, our last item, Carums. Now, Carums is one of those things where it's a brand name which has become synonymous with, with a food product. Um, they're actually little blocks of cot sweet cottage cheese with different flavours. And there are different brands. When you go to supermarkets, sometimes you can be overwhelmed with the different varieties. Um, so this is like official carums. This is Baltai's um, um, cheesecake cubes, whatever you want to call it. Um, I can sometimes call them mini cheesecakes. I think it's um, fair to call them that. Although they don't have a biscuit base. So um, we've got, this is the original kind of vanilla. Um, so they, they're a sweet cottage cheese with a chocolate covering around the outside. And um, they come in, let's say, different flavors. So you've got like original vanilla. Um, this is chocolate, so it's got, it's got you know, chocolate um, flavored cottage cheese with chunks of chocolate in it as well. Um, this one is um, Plombino, which is kind of ice cream. If you have a standard ice cream, we think of vanilla ice cream in the UK as a standard flavor, or well, Plombino is um, the standard flavor here. It's kind of like a sweet cream flavored ice cream, very nice in itself. Um, but that's that. Got some um, new flavor, which is um, Talk of Artists, which is um, candy floss flavored. Um, we've got caramel flavor, and I think there's also things like coconut flavor. I've seen mango, where the, the coating rather than chocolate is mango around the outside with some mango bits inside. And I've seen um, some other, well, they're all sweet really. It's, it's kind of a nice, easy pudding to have um, dessert. Let's just have a, shall we open one and have a look? Um, in fact, my daughter might come in and um, help me taste them in a minute. So um, I'll go and get her in a minute. And then we'll do a taste test, shall we? And then we'll look at that bonus item at the end. Right, ready to taste? Which one do you think is gonna be your favorite? Your ice cream flavor, candy floss flavor, chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. Caramel? Are you excited about tasting candy floss flavor? Mm. You like candy floss, don't you? You can take, we'll taste them all, darling, we'll taste them all. But I know some you know already, don't you? Should we try this new one? I know so this one, but I don't know the rest of them because I just taste this one. Oh, okay. And the normal one. Let's try... Oh. Pinky. So, chocolate on the outside, I don't know if you can see. I'll get a close-up in a bit. Everyone have chocolate. They all have chocolate on the outside, do they? Yeah. I don't know how you describe the taste of candy floss to someone, but anyway, um, it's probably be a little bit gimmicky, but nice nevertheless. Mm. Should we try the ice cream one? Plombino. Yummy a taste. It is like ice cream, isn't it? Sweet cream, but ice cream. Do you want to try any more? What ones do you want to try next? Can I get some milk? <laughs> yeah, you can get some milk, yeah. <laughs> got to have a drink on the job, haven't you? I've got my cup of tea in my... Dumpy cup. Oh. Right. So I have comfy now. <laughs> What's this one? Caramel. Caramel. So this has not got a chocolate coating on it, this is a caramel coating, isn't it? Yeah, I've chocolate on. Oops. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Hey, I had a 
said one time. Let's try chocolate, shall we? Mm-hmm. Chocolate tea. Chocolate on the outside, chocolate on the inside, and chocolate chips on the inside. Mm. Try chocolate tea. Exactly what it says on the packet. Good. One more. Do you want to try the vanilla one as well? We know what the vanilla one's like though, don't we? I don't know, I like those. Just sweet cottage cheese, isn't it? Yummy, yeah? Good. Thank you for your help with my testing. You can finish this off later, yeah? Mm. I need to finish the rest of the video now. Okay, at the start of the video, I promised you a bonus product. And there's a good reason why it's bonus. Here it is, Kama. And the reason it's bonus is because Trish, actually it's from Estonia. Um, it's traditionally an Estonian product, although it is now produced in Latvia, produced by um, a Latvian mill. And, but we live, I think I've said before in other videos, we live very close to the Estonian border. It's only a, sort of 20 kilometres uh, that way, north of us. And so we do see more Estonian products here. Um, this is ground, uh, I'm trying to think, remember what it is now. It's Kama flour, it's a traditional Estonian kitchen product that consists of three grain types and peas. All the ingredients are previously dried and roasted and it forms part of a healthy diet for both adults and children. And the ingredients are wheat, rye, barley and peas, roasted and ground up. And it's kind of, it comes ground up into a very fine uh, sort of flour. Well, it's, it's not as fine as a flour, it's a little bit coarse. And you put it in yogurts and, and make it as a, an extra ingredient in yogurts. And it's, um, really kind of changes a very, what can be a very bland yogurt into something um, with an extra taste and extra texture. Um, and uh, when I first had it, or, or it was my brother-in-law that introduced it to me. Um, I, was a bit, I wasn't really sure, but um, now I, I absolutely love the stuff. And um, if you can get hold of a packet, I'm sure you can get it um, all over Latvia, then do give it a try. Because um, it, uh, it will rock your yogurt world, if I can say that. So um, that's our bonus product, Kama. I hope um, you've enjoyed the video. If um, you think I've missed off a product, leave it in the comments below. I'm well aware that I've not mentioned Latvian black bread, except in the context of the uh, Quas drink, because I want to do a separate video um, about black bread itself, because it's so important um, to Latvia, it needs its own video. Um, but if there's anything else you think I've missed, and I know that I have, um, leave it in the comments below, tell me about it. Um, tell me um, what are your favorite products uh, of the ones that I've chosen, uh, you know, if you have tried them, and uh, what you like, what you like the sound of, etc, etc, etc. Thanks for watching the videos. Um, if you uh, haven't subscribed, do subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and stuff like that. Um, and uh, bye for now and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.